Hello everybody, my name is Chris No No Um, hello everybody, my name is Crispy Let me move the mic up a little forward And today we're playing There Is No Escape Um, directly from the page As you wake up from a nightmare You need to use the bathroom Entering the bathroom you realize you were trapped inside a, a long never ending hallway You must go forward to find an escape On the way forward you find many memories and hallucinations Oh, Jane. Jane. I'm going to do my worst voice acting. Jane, where are you? Jane, answer me. Jane. Good night, love. Me, Jim. Status typing. Hi, honey. You need to take your medication right now. You cannot miss your schedule. Just type slow, Jane. God, what do you type one pinky at a time? Also, yesterday I saw that the medication was running low, so before I, I came from work, I stopped by a pharmacy to get your medication. <laughs> now, apparently, this game is based off something, but I don't know what it really is. So, yes, I did take my medic. I did take my medication today. Also, yeah, if you were if you wouldn't have seen them, the pills would be out by now. I was about to drive to the pharmacy. Thank you. Hard emoticon. <laughs> Why is it like Discord style? You know, I always got your back. By the way, I visited the doctor today and she said that you were not allowed to be in possession of a firearm whatsoever. What do you have? Schizophrenia? What like what what's your deal? What's your problem? Jim, I mean, no, I had a nightmare again. I often have a nightmare too of this. <laughs> like, I was, it's psychological horror, so this is like gonna be terrifying on a whole other level, bro. I need to use bathroom. Oh my god, this aspect ratio is insane. You picked up a flashlight. Clearly. Ooh, what are you? Excuse. Yo, there's just a. 10,000 Robux to get an Easter egg. Is the... I'm missing something. Is the developer gonna, like, come out the screen and start, like, talking to me about my issues? <clears throat> Sorry. Um, Dr. Emily Thompson, MD, psychiatrist, Jim Burke, age 47. That... Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I was actually right. I was, I was just being annoying. I didn't think it was actually gonna be schizophrenia. I'm sorry. I'm not laughing at the, uh, whatever. Schizophrenia, dementia, and depression. L uh, fluoxetine, one pill daily, ten milligrams. Risperidone, two pills daily, ten milligrams each. Therapy, once a week, Tuesday at four p.m. Restrictions for your safety, well-being. We advise against the possession of firearms. Date of invoice: six twelve two thousand three. It's like some rats snuck into my house again. Yeah, clearly. It's a piece of bread. There's some glass. There's fork. Picked up a fork. Thank you. You know, I really hope someone makes a Petscop styled game in Roblox. There's no escape. Is it? Please tell me there's no chasing and it's all just like. Looks like I left some food. Must be where the rats came. Yes, thank you, Jim. gone call Jane the number you dialed is not a working number that is so Please loud check the number and dial again el numero que marco no está en servicio verifíquelo y márquelo de nuevo yo message 3 GA 03 MN Look, can we stop stop it Why'd it get silent? Mr. Jane, I wish you were here. Jane dead? Or she- No, 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 she's on on business, right? She's on a business trip, right? So, yeah. Can we please- I love- Yeah, thank you, man. Uh, can I- I know I just saw her. I know it. I just do. Can we please- Thank you. Eight feet tall. Man, Jim, you are, uh, you're a strange guy. 
You're a strange man. Gun. I must find the clock. Let me find the clock. It is coming for me. I just know it. This is the bathroom. What type of weirdo has decorations like this in his house? Get the right one to his bathroom. If I turn this corner and I see my questionable my questionably alive wife. See, this is this is that this is that stuff. This is that stuff? Remember the front door being barricaded with wooden planks. See who's here. I can remember she's still here. She isn't gone. See, this is that stuff. It is coming. Burn. Me is near. Yep. All right. So, buddy lost his wife. He's a paranoid schizophrenic. And now I have to suffer the same fate. What is that? A Bible? Please tell me that's the Bible. I'm not even like that for real, but... Mum Yum Yidri. Is that Caesar Cipher? It says... On Hitri. I don't know what that says. I can't tell if it's like needs to be rearranged or if it's Caesar Cipher. Or it's in a whole other thing. It, it could just be nothing. I'm not turning around because if I do... I don't have a choice. I should go to the bathroom? You shouldn't. You should take those pills. And let me tell you one thing. If I catch even a single thing coming out of anything right now... Oh my god, I'm going to lose it. Why does my bathroom look like a New York alleyway? Seriously, why does it look like a New York alleyway? Also, I don't think the game's loud enough for you guys, so I'm just going to turn it up. Be happy. Actually, why don't I just turn up the game? Like, just a hard thought. I should really separate my audio and my gameplay from- I mean, my audio and my microphone from now. Take the gun and shoot it? No. Right? Because I'm not supposed to pick up guns. I always have this fork. They never tell me what it was for. So my last drawing. <coughs> Sorry, I had to cough. No, I'm not. Gonna be, I'm not gonna pick up the gun. They told me not to. All right, I'll pick up the gun because it seems like they want me to. Okay. Maybe there is a secret ending for not picking up the gun, um, but it does not look like the game's going to proceed if I don't pick it up. I mean, well, no, because now it looks like it will proceed. I don't know. I'll let someone else do it. I'm, I'm not doing it. I pick up piecers. Are you sure? They are giving me the option, so I, I don't have to pick it up. I was right. I don't have to pick it up then. Okay, then I'm, not gonna, I'm, I'm just not going to pick it up then. Because I was under the assumption that the game wouldn't progress unless I did. But because it's saying, are you sure, I'm pretty sure I don't have to do it and it'll change the, direct, the direction of the game from here on. We're going for a happy ending here, ladies and gentlemen. Come on now. And it, can, under the fact that he's schizophrenic and the fact that he probably lost his wife and whatever, I'm under the assumption that we don't have to pick up the gun. my wooden power that here it's in his mind if he picks up that gun he might he might what is happening if he picks up that gun he might down himself bro i'm not gonna down myself so i've, I've probably picked the right decision right here he's gonna get you know get healthy move on you know this day meant a lot to me I was going to sing uh, Viva La Vida, but I don't remember any lyric from that song. 
And then I hear Jarosel and bells ring. I can still remember. Oh. Yeah, y'all hear that a lot louder than I do. Memory unlocked wedding. Oh. Yeah, I upped the volume for you guys. For me, it's not not as bad, but for you guys, you get the full experience of the horror. Not that I won't get it either. But to be fair, I'll raise it up just a little bit for me. Oh god, it's so loud. Okay, hold on. Hello? September 24th, 1998. This was taken by my grandfather's old camera. Sorry, I was I changed my headphones. March 17th, 1999. This is Jade's first car. I hear you. Is this his wife? Why do you find it sound so familiar? Anyway, so I can fill my void and not be sad. <clears throat> I am not real. Um, I had mint chocolate chip recently. Car crash? We were watching the sunset together, July 24th, 1999. Met Metals waltz on paths unknown. I had, uh, okay, a twist of destiny, a fate was sown. I had it for the first time yesterday. Shattered glass, a course of despair. It's really good, by the way. You should try it. Life's detour, veiled in a metal layer. It's a literal cookie, cooking cream. Um, navigate the wreckage, unravel the unknown. Hey, that's my wife. Is this some kind of sick puzzle? This feels like, um, Silent Hill. Answer me. Yeah, this feels like Silent Hill. I'm not gonna lie to you. At least, this is what I... This is what people have described it to me as. Kind of, so... I can't take this anymore. I hate my life. I can't stand it anymore. All I, all I do is sleep all day and do nothing else. Why is she not coming home? Why is my life like this? I didn't deserve this. Lord, I didn't deserve all three of these illnesses. Hey, Lord, I really do. You betrayed me. I have a plan. I think I should do it. However, really, it is really hard to get myself to do it. By the time you're reading this, you already know if I did it or not. Thank you for everything. Okay. That means I'm going to have to add a mental health warning at the beginning of this video. Which isn't, you know, a huge concern, because I think I did it before, but, you know. Heavy topics. I wouldn't want, any, want anybody to get startled by that. What is that? Oh. Look behind you? There's blood inside the car. If I look behind me and I see... Read the license plate. Jane8753. Okay. Car accident. I didn't unlock a memory. I just kind of looked at it. Jane8573. Eight five seven three, whatever. We'll we'll see. Jesus Christ! Oh, 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 I just, oh, I just, oh my God! I just felt my chest, my bro, my balls dropped. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my god. There is no escape. Well, let's find an escape. Really? What I need to do? Not kill yourself? Can I say that? Whoopsie. I don't know if I can say that. Whatever. Ugh, that scared the crap out of me. My my balls hurt and my I almost threw up. Good God. Came out of nowhere. I can't wake up. I, I'm not. Not even real. I was never real. 
this is called disassociation or something like that. I'm, the, I'm not the one I always thought I was. I never had a Jane. Oh yeah, because schizophrenic, you're right, I forgot. I never had my own home. Okay. Who am I? What am I? Jimmy, wake up. Come down for breakfast. The other kids are already full. Is this his mother talking to him? Come on, you can't stay in your room all day. Now I realize who I truly am. I don't have a home. I never had a home. I'm just a sick kid. I don't need anyone. Maybe I'm right. I'm just a kid who lives inside a mental health facility. So the house was a lie, okay. I don't even have parents that can sit beside me. But I didn't deserve this Lord. All I ever wanted was a loving mother. Jimmy's diary. There is no escape. Is that what the book was at the very beginning? Okay. That was care facility. And she, did Jane... Okay, that's Jane. Oh, no, that's Emily. I'm sorry. Didn't come for breakfast. Is this FNAF music? There is no escape. true ending so the true ending is that he actually survives okay then under that same guise we can assume that under that exact same mindset that the bad ending is he shoots himself because that's the point of the gun and they said don't let him ever have a firearm and it, we, i'm assuming that j okay if j never existed and so what was the point of the car wreck i'm sorry what so we know he's a mental health patient that would that much was true we know that- hold on, let me turn this game down. Sorry. Okay, so I, I'm turning it down fully for me. So, we know that he was a mental health patient, and we know that he had mental health issues, and we know he was being on, put on medication. So, how much of this story was true, though? With Jane, it's told to us that Jane never existed, but Jane happens to look like Emily. So, are we saying that Jane in his world is Emily in the real world. And in that case. Okay. In that regard, does Emily Emily is still alive though when we see her in the thing? So what was the whole thing with the car crash? Why was he admitted to a men uh, a, uh, um, a clinic? Because like why was he as uh, um admitted to a clinic? at all actually did that stuff actually happen was his disassociation or was his mental health getting that bad that even that woman didn't exist like emily didn't exist that's ooh, bro there's a, i mean maybe maybe i'm not getting it right because i probably got to see the other ending and but i'm almost really sure the other ending is you know he, he pow pow so i'm probably not i'm probably not gonna go for that at all um someone else can try it not me so if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, please. If you ever suffer, suffer with mental health, please call someone. There's someone who cares for you.
anybody who cares for you. And I'll see you guys next time. Toodles!